G'day guys, m 10 Tam here. Today we're going to learn about the materials. Before I start, I'm trying to plow through as much tutorials as I can so I can just edit them and upload them during the week. And I'm using a new codec, um, which does uh, which doesn't move as faster than the audio than my previous ones does. I tried to do a little bit of tricks to mimic it, but a few people spotted it out and got confused. It takes a lot more longer um, to encode it. Just FYI, you can check the time code. So, this next tutorial will be the materials of uh, Octane, but how to use them within the Blender plugin. So, uh, first thing, we don't need this. Um, we need the preview, so obviously open up your Blender, go to Materials tab, put the preview on top, surface on the second, and just close this MS3D material. So from here we're going to click onto our object and press Use Node. Now, it automatically goes straight towards the Diffuse BSDF. This is Cycle's uh, material system, which Octane does not use. Octane uses its own uh, uh, materials, obviously because it's from Octane. Now, the one thing that I just picked up on is Gymstar automatically, it automatically goes to Octane's and Octane alone. It completely disregards the other ones, so thank you Gymstar for making my life a lot more easier. So, um, let's uh, let's just click through. So, um, go to your go to the Diffuse BSDF and let's click on a Diffuse. Now, um, in the node editor, uh, we have to go to the material option, so click on the material option, and here you have your material output and your diffuse material. Now, you always need the material output, uh, otherwise you will not see your textures at all. Very crucial. Um, and also, let's just quickly go into the render. So, let's click on the viewport shading and go to rendered. And let's turn down this to uh, ambient since we're not really rendering hungry right now. So, um, as you can see, this is the diffuse map and it just works just like any other diffuse material. Um, be sure to click off the smoothing. Very annoying, I might add. Um, in the diffuse, uh, you can um, add uh, anything, everything from a RGB spectrum to a float text and you can go crazy with it. Um, it works just like with an Octane. So that's the diffuse. I'll just leave that out there. So uh, also, um, you can also uh, shift A for the shaders or you can go and do it the hard way. For a more complex way, you would obviously do it in the node editor. So that's diffuse. Um, shift A, go to Octane Shader, and then Octane Glossy. And just like uh, the diffuse, it is all there, ready. Um, still has that ridiculous index. I want them to get rid of it, it's so annoying. You have to push this up here, then mess. Then you can mess with the um, specular and the reflectivity. Um, Let's just duplicate this just so we can see the reflections a bit. So that is the specular. For you. Let's make that. You can make it red. Uh, you can also... Film width. Everything is here. So, uh, diffuse, glossy, and let's make that a... Let's just get got a confused there. So, um, yep, yep, yep. Um, next is the uh, glossy. So shift A, sh yeah, shift A, octane shader, specular. So it's like a glass texture. Duplicate that. Move it to the side and put that there. Whoops, I forgot to assign this. Assigning materials is pretty much uh, how you would in normal Blender. 
by clicking that plus and turn the smoothing off. Be sure to turn the smoothing off if it's not smooth because it can get really annoying. There's the very gorgeous refract refractivity. And within the glossy spectrum, you can also change the dispersion, which I love a lot. Uh, I think Roland was in charge of this. Change the index of refraction, transmission, and you can also add the medium. So let's do the absorption. Everything is here as you would expect it to be. Um, so now, uh, in the so uh, what else should I add? It's pretty much uh, how it is. Um, you could also uh, change. So obviously, you can change the options from here, and you can also change the options from here too. Uh, bear in mind, uh, this has nothing to do with the uh, octane, is what I've gathered. Um, but you can change the values and attributes from here, and as long as well as the colors. So um, that is pretty much the gist of um, the Octane render uh, material, like the basic material sets. So you now you now know how to get the materials and such, and how to change the settings to your liking. Um, in the next tutorial, we will be uh, going through uh, mixed materials with glossy spec and diffuse because um, they can be really really handy for a few little adjustments here and there so thanks for watching and I will see you next time